Hey YouTube, Micah here again with another vlog. Today's video is going to be on caring for Katornix quail. At least for the most part, is that's going to be how we start out. Now, Katornix quail are fairly easy to take care of. Very much like a chicken if you already have chickens. The only real difference is they need a lot less space and their food does require a slightly higher protein because they are considered a game bird. So you want to give them, instead of just regular like chicken feed, a game bird feed, or something with major, majorly more like scratch grains in it, and then give them insects or something on the side. Now I have reptiles and amphibians, so I breed mealworms and stuff, and I give them those weekly or so. To supplement along with their other food. Now, they need about a square foot each, but some people keep them in about a half a square foot. I think right now I have four in the 16 square foot thing, and I think I max it out around eight or nine. And eventually, I'm going to build them a huge pen so I can hold 20 or 30 plus. So, that's kind of your introduction to quail. Um, I also have a heat lamp on them, just in case they get hot, or cold, but the main reason I have it on there is so their water doesn't freeze overnight, which you can see they're all sipping at. My chickens are itching to get out, so I'm going to close this quickly and move on to taking out chickens. On to the larger poultry for the day. All making a mad dash straight to that. They check that and then they go forage in the grass. Turkeys, of course, the last one out again. She's crying. Come on down. Come on out. Join the Mad Dash. There you go. <laughs> She's among the Mad Dashers. So it was Saturday's video. I think I said this last me about three days. Well, today's Monday. So, yeah, look how much they've eaten. It's about that full yet, if, for reference. So I'll probably get a fourth day out of this. <laughs> it's lasting me a bit longer than I thought. Leave it open so they can go back in when they're done free-ranging. Now, the only other major difference from when you guys were last on video tour is I moved birds into this coop. Just a few of my checks. Look at the condensation on the window. So, they're keeping it warm up top for them. They're going down if they need it. I moved the guineas and six chickens out here, um, four of which are hens, I think, the others a blue and Eugene rooster, and then a uh, er, black laced rooster too. Let's see, I'll pop its head out. Um, the blue rooster I'm going to probably use across board rocks to make um, blue sex links, and so that's part of the plan and as soon as these guys start lying I'll start hatching some of their eggs too. Inside the garage yet yeah, is still a couple birds uh, my five or six smaller ones which includes a speckled sussex, a um, buff silky and three molted cochin bantams which is a rooster and two hens of those. She was not happy with him trying to mate. Again, I guess we'll end on a bird in the bird bath. Hey guys, thanks for watching vlog number five, I believe. Um, in the near future, I'm going to be hatching some more quail. I'd like to buy online some Katornix, um, Texas A&M, maybe some Italian quail eggs to hatch. 
and so that'll be in the near future we'll be getting more quail um, until then here's a subscribe button and here's my previous video thank you guys all for watching um, please keep watching um, rate comment and subscribe whatever you want to do and please add to the discussion if there is a discussion in the comments thank you all